I'm Duncan Ferguson and you're watching Toffee TV. Everton were the winners of the FA Cup in 1984. Welcome to this special edition of Toffee Tweets. Normally we ask you for your tweets after the games regarding anything that's going on in Evan. This week we've asked you about your thoughts about Howard Kendall, obviously after his sad passing on Saturday. Uh, we've had a few responses on Twitter. Uh, let's get straight into them. Brad Min Minowski has said, A legend has passed. We'll always remember that great night in Rotterdam when Everton achieved the double. Uh, David the Toffee says... He never stopped telling me off, but in a nice way, on the uh, local bus. Fair enough. Um, Andy has said, special memories, a mega legend solely missed and never forgotten. Cried and was down all day on Saturday. Martin Dunn has actually used his head and used notes to send us this one. He says, I always had blind faith when it came to Everton, still do a 44. So even during the dark days of his first reign, I thought he'd get it right, and boy, did he get it right. The next few years were a roller coaster of excitement. He made me want to go to school on a Monday morning, made me want to go to be in the ground as soon as the gates opened. I hung upon his every word, and after reading the inter interviews with him, felt that it could beat anyone. I suspect the players felt that way too. I was normal when I heard the news on Saturday that our greatest ever manager had passed away, a legend who has enriched mine and so many other Evertonians' lives. People sometimes say that they should never meet their heroes, as they ne they're they never what they'd be, but anyone who ever had the pleasure of meeting Howard Kendall tell you he was exactly how you'd think he would be, and so much more. God bless Howard Kendall. Dave Parkinson says, The biggest tribute I can pay to Howard Kendall is that on Saturday morning, I felt that a family member had had gone. Uh, Jackson Strum says, Brilliant manager and figure in the club. Always remember my mum telling me about 85. Rest in peace, Howard Kendall. Joe Riley says, Not just a great footballer, manager, Evertonian, but also a lovely, humble man who will be missed big time. Then we gather. Jack White says... One is not the best we've ever had. Thank you, Howard. Matthew James says, Importance of Howard cannot be measured by the sense of loss felt by the Blues. It's massive. Truly loved and adored. Sophie Gallagher says, Fantastic manager and player. Great so stories will be sadly missed. Lewis Barrow says, Our greatest ever manager will be missed by all Everton Evertonians. Rename the park end the Howard Kendall Stand. Uh, Gareth Atkin Atkinson says, The tributes pouring in from clubs up and down the country tell their own story. Great manager and true gent. Mo, who was a Man United fan, said, Such a great man and manager. Growing up in the mid-80s, such a fantastic time watching a superb Everton team. Trevor Edwards says, Not just a great footballer, manager, simply a great person and a man of the people's club. Irreplaceable. Pete says he emphasised our motto, We are who we are today because of him, the greatest. Rest in peace. Howard. So, lots of brilliant tributes there to Howard Kendall. Deserved every single one of them. Definitely the best manager the club's ever had. Uh, and like you say, reading through the tweets there just shows uh, everyone's feelings and thoughts about him. And that was evident on Saturday with all the tributes that came in from far and wide. And I thought, got to give Matty the day a little bit of credit. I thought mm. Gary Lineker and their tribute was uh, was really, yeah. really good. You know, we they done it really well. Yeah, and so. as as one of the tweets said, there are lots and lots of tributes from up and down the country, from different clubs and managers, and and all even Jeremy Corbyn, give him give him one. Um, so that's you shows know, the measure. Of it the shows man, the it? measure of the man and what he was, what he was, uh, how how highly he was valued to so many. Uh, don't forget to watch our tribute as well with with Derek Manfield. Some really really nice stories with Derek. Um, pretty pretty. Pretty happy stories, if truth be told. Derek didn't want to come on and be, you know, all all mournful about the thing. He wanted, he wanted, he said, he happy. He said Howard was happy and he was to be celebrated. So, uh, and also we've had one in from Liam Kingy underscore AFC, um, who sent us a video of Howard Kendall 
singing at his friend's memorial night. So we'll just leave you with that. Thanks for watching Toffee TV. See you soon.